Hi everyone, it is Smokey's dinner time right now, so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things that I feed Smokey and also what goes on throughout this entire process. If you guys stick with me to the very end, I'm also gonna share with you guys some really exciting news that I have for upcoming videos to come. So I hope you guys like it and hope you guys stick with me to the very end. Alright, so what I'm gonna feed Smokey is what you guys see right here. Let me see if it's in focus. What I have um, is just a half slice of orange, broccoli, um, fresh organic blueberries, some peas, um, and carrots. I also feed her pellets, so let's go ahead and put this inside the aviary. So this is Smokey's kind of like feeding station over here. Um, she always has access to fresh water, fresh clean water, and uh, this is replaced daily. Now with her pellets, I put them inside this foraging toy, so let me take this off so I can show you. And let me just make sure that it's focused. Okay. Just give me a second, Smokes. So with this foraging toy, it's really easy. I just twist this open. I have like wooden balls in there that I showed you guys in a separate video. And I simply pour her pellets into here. If you guys are wondering where I get this um, foraging toy, I got this from drfosterandsmith.com. So if you just Google that, like Dr. Foster and Smith, it'll pop up. Okay, and I'm going to stick this right back in here. And her fruits and her vegetables, I simply pour those into her food bowl. I don't like putting those in foraging toys just because they tend to get moldy really fast if you put them into foraging toys and it's super hard to clean. And just as a disclaimer, this is what I feed Smokey. This is not what I recommend you feed Smokey and I really don't feel qualified to give you tips on what to recommend feeding your bird. And that's just because, and she just threw out her broccoli right there. But. That's just because parrot nutrition is really in its infancy. What we know about parrot nutrition, um, we know very little. What we do know is that an all seed diet is not adequate. So to take the guesswork out of it, formulated pelleted diets are available and that's what I feed Smokey as her base diet. But I also think it's important that your bird gets um, fresh veggies and fruits to supplement that. So again, I, if you guys are kind of confused about what exactly you should feed your bird, I think you should research that on your own. Don't just get your information from one source. And um, once you do your own research, then you can kind of make up your own decision about what's best for your bird. And let me see if I can get her to eat the blueberries right now because it's kind of hilarious when she eats her blueberries. Here. You want a blueberry? Get it, Smokes. Hey. She has got a piece of corn that was on my finger. There you go. Oops, she dropped it. And a lot of parrots, Amazons in particular, um, are usually very deficient in vitamin A. So if you guys can get your bird to eat carrots, that's a really good source of vitamin A. And I know that right now it looks like she's not touching, touching her pellets at all, but she tends to go through her fruits and her veggies first, and then she does her pellets afterwards. I also want to show you guys something. If I pan this around, you guys can see that Smokey's um, Avery is surrounded by lots and lots of plants, lots of greens. And I like doing that just because it gives, um, I think it gives her a good sense of security. 
And panning back over here, you can see that she's starting on her orange already. Let me zoom up. And just as kind of like an FYI, I don't keep Smokey in the Avery all day. She spends a lot of her time inside the house with her human flock. But whenever I feed her, both breakfast and dinner, I prefer to feed her in the Avery. Just because you guys can see she's flinging a lot of stuff around. It gets really messy, so it's a lot easier for me just to hose the Avery down. And that way, when she comes inside the house, it reduces um, the time that I have to clean up. Something that I also want you guys to see that's pretty cool is this. If you guys take a look outside our aviary, we plant kale. And let me see if I can put that in focus. Right there. So actually, why don't I go ahead and grab like some kale right now and I'll show you guys what I do with it. Alright, so I just want to show you guys kind of um, a panned view. Of what surrounds Smokey Avery. Lots and lots of greens. And if I come over here, here's the kale. So, let's pick this one here, this one here, and let's do. I think that's good for today. Now the good thing about planting your own um, veggies in your backyard is you can be sure that there aren't any pesticides that are used on your veggies, which could be toxic to your bird. So I also have a hose here. Oops. And I'm just going to rinse these down. Now even though your bird might not eat the veggies that you guys put in, I'm sure that most birds enjoy shredding them anyways. So this is a great um, way to add enrichment to your bird's enclosure. You guys can also see that Smokey is super excited right now for a kale. So I'm going to leave this here. And that's what the um, plastic chains are for. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, most of the time she doesn't really eat the kale, she likes shredding it. Somewhere in between she does ingest some of it, but for the most part she likes doing what she's doing now, which is, I don't know, running her beak through the leaves and just shredding them. It's a good way to keep your bird busy. It's a good way to keep them mentally stimulated. But also, I think it's a necessity for all captive birds because this is what they would be doing in the wild. So even if you guys don't plant these yourselves, you can easily um, go to the grocery store and just buy some cheap vegetables, add it to their enclosure and just giving them access to that to shred. Let me really zoom up so you guys can kind of see what Smokey's doing. If you guys um, have me on Instagram, you guys know that I also love taking photos of Smokey. But what you guys might not notice is that in all the photos that I take of Smokey, I like getting natural photos of her. Photos where it's very candid, where she's doing things that she enjoys. I don't like forcing and 
putting her in different awkward positions to take these like cute photos. Because I think the best photos are when your bird appears relaxed and when they're actually engaged in doing something that they enjoy. So a lot of the times I add green to Smokey's Avery and then I just snap some really nice photos of her just doing her thing. You like it, Smokes? Come here. You want this one? Go for it. That's what I love about Smokey, guys, is that she allows me to pick her up in any way and she won't, um, she never bites me. I don't know about you guys, but I can seriously just watch her all day just doing this. I also want to show you guys in this video her using her treasure chest toy. So this one here. And I know that these used to come in like yellow, but they come in clear now because I guess um, people have been asking for the clear one so that it makes it easier for the bird to be able to see what's inside. And I'm gonna put an almond inside this treasure chest. I'm gonna close it up. And I do expect that she's gonna come over and try to open it right away. I give her no more than one almond a day, but almonds are really good for them because they're high in calcium. And if you guys have African greys, you know that African greys tend to um, have problems where they don't get enough calcium in their diet. So I'd say an almond a day is what I give Smokey and she enjoys cracking them open. It keeps her busy and it's also good for her. In case you guys are also wondering, I don't put, this is supposed to be like for a food bowl, but I took the food bowl out and I just used this to hang kind of like um, her foraging toys on here. And that makes it kind of like a foraging station that she has inside the Avery. And she's got it. Good job, Smokes. I also love how the almond kind of like forces her to use her beak because she needs to be able to crack it open. So it's good beak exercise and it helps to keep their beaks in trim at the same time. If you guys have me on Instagram, you'll also, um, you probably saw that this morning she got a shower. So by now, she's all dried up and her feathers are looking real good. Can I see that smokes? And she's finished with it. You can have it back. Sometimes she just likes um, chewing on the shell, but not today. You dropped it. Do you want to scratch? So she's back to shredding her greens. So after some thinking guys, I've decided that even though Smokey gets a lot of um, attention from her human family, I'm starting to believe that parrots need to have companions that are also 
of their kind. So I will be adding another bird to our flock and I will be getting Smokey, um, a companion in the very near future. So if you guys are planning to get like a parrot in the future, I do think it's important that you guys realize that in the wild these birds live in um, pairs or they live in really big flocks. So it's really unnatural for them to be alone. So if you think that you're going to be away for work or for, away for school for long periods of time, make sure that you are prepared to add another bird to keep your bird company. Or you might want to reconsider getting a parrot in the first place because um, even though, again, like I said, Smokey gets a lot of company from her human flock, I do, after keeping birds for a while now, I do believe that they are the need, um, their own kind, and just another bird to always be with them 24-7, and I think that's super important for them. What I also want to share with you guys is this. So this is my patio area. That's Smokey's Avery over there. And what I am in the works of doing is I got very large netting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose this entire area with netting. So that Smokey can do some um, flying around this area. And I also want to just be able to hang out with her outside of here and work on her recall outdoors in this area. She doesn't like flying in her harness. So I think that this will give her um, kind of like an alternative to using the harness so that she actually builds up her skill but also enjoys flying outdoors. Now I know that some people might think that this is really crazy for me to go through this length for um, a bird but what you guys have to consider is that and I try to emphasize this in all of my videos is I don't do this and I don't think that this is spoiling her. I think that just having the mindset and just looking out for ways to enrich your bird's life, I think, and this goes back to what I said about, this is what we owe our birds. And so I think that even though it's a lot of work, that it's worthwhile and I also think that she deserves it. And with that, I want to remind you guys that if you're watching this and you guys are thinking about getting a bird just think about all the things that I talked about in this video and see if you guys are really ready to make that commitment don't get a bird and keep them inside like a small cage even if you guys play with them for several hours a day I don't think that's enough so if you know that your bird um, is going to be left at home for a long time because you have work or school. Think about getting another uh, pet that's not so demanding of your time. So I think that just through this short video you guys can see how demanding birds are and just how much work and how expensive they really are to keep. And I'm not trying to sound condescending I'm just trying to give you guys um, the real kind of look on what it is keeping such an intelligent parrot like this so that you don't end up getting one and then regretting it or worse you don't get one and end up keeping them locked away inside a cage for the rest of their lives. So. Really think about that. A lot of you guys at this time might be wondering, um, what do I do or what happens when I go away um, and I'm at work? Luckily, my wife does a lot of her work at home, so there's always somebody home with Smokey. But even then, I feel bad whenever I leave her. So that's why I've decided that I will be getting her a companion. Right, Smokes? Do you want a companion? You want a cat, though. I see. What's Smokey? Perch?
What is it, Smokey? So I'm about to take her inside now, guys, so our video is probably going to conclude soon. Can I pick you up? No? Let me pick you up. No? Okay, I'll give you a head scratch. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope it at least caused you and made you think about some things, whether or not you have a bird. If you guys did enjoy the video, uh, make sure you guys click the like button below and also if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel so that you guys um, don't miss out on future videos. Right Smokes? And I will see you guys all next time. Smokes, what you doing?